Hello everyone, welcome to a new series on Indian Geography. So we know that in every competitive exams, various questions are asked from this part, whether it may be various questions related to mountain ranges or peaks or ghats. Okay, so here in this series, I will cover all the important topics which have a special weightage in most of the competitive exams, right? Now, uh, so let's begin the video with a very beautiful quote of Mark Twain. So this I have picked up from the Indian yearbook of 2020. Okay, so Mark Twain described India as India is the cradle of human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the grandmother of legion, and the great grandmother of tradition. Our most valuable and most instructive materials in the history of man are treasured up in India only. So Mark Twain has beautifully described our motherland, right? Now uh, let's begin with the location of India. Okay, so first I hope you know what are latitudes and longitudes, right? The latitudes are the horizontal imaginary lines, right? And the longitudes are the vertical imaginary lines. Okay, now uh, we know that the equator equally divides the earth into two hemispheres, right? That is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Okay, similarly, the zero degree prime meridian and the international deadline equally divides the earth into two hemispheres, that is the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Okay, so India is located in the northern hemisphere latitudinally and, uh, and longitudinally in the eastern hemisphere. That is, if someone asks or if it is asked in the exam where India is located, so India is located in the northeastern hemisphere. Okay, next it is its latitudinal expanse, it is often asked in questions. Okay, so its latitudinal expanse is 8 degree 4 minutes and 37 degree 6 minutes north. Okay, then longitudinal expanse is 68 degree 7 minutes and 97 degree 25 minutes east. Okay, and it then, uh, covers an area of 32,87,263 square kilometer. Okay, keep in mind this, uh, this comments exam, right? Then the total length of the coastline, okay, coastline of the mainland is mainland, Lakshadweep Islands and Andaman and Nicobar Islands is 7516.6 km. Okay, now if uh, Elon talked about the mainland, okay, coastline of the mainland, then it is uh, only uh, 6100 km, right? So out of the states, Gujarat has the longest coastline. Okay, this comes in exam. Which state has the longest coastline? So the answer will be Gujarat. Okay. Now also question comes, which is the northern, northernmost point of India, okay? So the answer is Indira Kul and it is located in Ladakh, okay? See in some books uh, you may get that Indira Kul is located in Jammu and Kashmir but uh, according to the new map of India, okay? So according to the new map, uh, this region now uh, falls under Ladakh, okay? You can see this pictures here, okay? Now again, uh, you may be confused if this Indira Kul, okay? Indira Kul is named after our late Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, right? But it is uh, not right. In fact, it is named after the goddess Lakshmi. Okay, Lakshmi Bhagavan or Anatanam Indira hai. And in fact, Indira Gandhi is named after uh, goddess Lakshmi's name, uh, whose other name is Indira. Okay, and it is uh, this name is given by a geographer called as Bullock Workman. Okay, so this is uh, for your information. Okay, then again, uh, the southernmost point is what? It is the Indira point in, located in the Great Nicobar Island. Okay, now this point is uh, named after uh, our late Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Okay, before that it is known as Pygmalion Point or the Persian Point. Okay, next, India is the seventh largest country in the world. Right now, uh, the countries that uh, that are having a common border with India are Afghanistan and Pakistan to the northwest, China, Bhutan and Nepal to the north, Myanmar to the far east, and Bangladesh to the east. Right now, question comes: Which country shares the longest border or border with India? Okay, so there is a trick here. Uh, it is said that as Bachpan may MBA. Okay, where B S stands for Bangladesh, then C H for China, P for Pakistan, and for Nepal. Okay, then another M for Myanmar, B for Bhutan, A is for Afghanistan. Okay, this is according to the 
decreasing uh, order of the boundary okay so the words are uh, colored according to the color of their uh, flags of the country okay so next important question that comes is uh, through how many st uh, indian states okay through how many indian states the tropic of cancer passes so the tropic of cancer passes through eight states okay these are gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh chhattisgarh jharkhand west bengal tripura and mizoram okay now what is the tropic of cancer okay so it is uh, one of the latitude important latitude which is uh, located in the northern hemisphere right so it is 23.5 degree or 23 and half degree latitude lo located in the northern hemisphere and it passes through eight states of eight states of india okay you can see the map here okay uh, then uh, again from uh, assam's exams perspective also question comes to how many northeastern states the tropic of cancer passes so answer will be tripura and mizoram right then uh, india is separated from sri lanka by the gulf of mannar and the park strait okay you can see the diagram here now what is a gulf so it is a large inlet from ocean into the landmass right again strait is a channel of water between two landmasses okay so uh, this is uh, the introduction of the indian geography okay uh, tomorrow we will deal with some other important facts okay so thank you for watching